What's going on guys, Ben here. We're back for some more golf class. And today I'm gonna to be bringing you some Tour 9 on my second account. I decided to start a couple of new series, uh, kind of like tutorial series on the channel. It's gonna be, uh, like today I'm gonna to be doing some Tour 9. Um, later I'm gonna to try to get some Tour 11 on my main account. I tried to do Tour 11 first, but I couldn't find any matchups tonight. So I'll try Tour 11 later after I finish this one. Um, but we're going to start off with some tour nine and I would like some suggestions, some suggestions from you guys as well in the comments on any other tours that you might want some help on or something, uh, you know, that you might be interested in seeing something that could be helpful tutorial wise, whatever the case is. Let me know in the comment section with comments section, what you would like to see. I was even thinking about maybe starting, um, like a new uh, account like a guest account and start from scratch and maybe uh, start from like zero to max trophy kind of thing something like that I know a bunch of people are doing that but I was thinking about doing it as well I started the second account originally just to play tournaments with but since uh, I've been maxed out max trophies it gets a little boring just playing tour 11 all the time uh, so I've been playing this account more than, more than, uh, my main account just because it's a lot easier to find opponents for one. Hold on just a second. And tour 11 just starts getting boring after a while in my opinion. Um, I don't know why he said, oops, it's fine with me. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but like I was saying, I was thinking about, uh, maybe starting a new account. Uh, also I'm going to be doing some tour 11, hopefully later tonight. Like I said, I tried to do some tour 11, couldn't find any opponents. So we're going to start off with some tour nine guys. I just started tour nine last night. Uh, just unlocked it. Well, didn't just unlock it, but just finished tour eight. So we're starting on tour nine now. And, uh, Fresh start, pretty much. Now, I hated Tour 9 the first time around. But they've added some of these new holes. And a lot of these new holes are a lot of fun. Let's see if I can get this to work with the... Yeah, I'll be able to get this to work with the... The, um... The thorn. Now, what I like to do on this hole is land it just on the edge where the fairway starts. And get it to roll back. If you can get it to land right, it'll roll right back into the hole. I hold this twice in the tournament, in the Haunted Hills tournament. So that's what we're going to be trying to do here. Get this to land just right and roll back down. Now, if you don't land it on the edge of the, hold on. If you don't land it on the edge of the green, if like you hit the fringe wrong or something, it can roll back down into the water. And that's not what you want to have happen. Roll back down. Nah, that one went a little bit too far. It won't make it all the way back. Still close. <clears throat> but if you land it uh, on the fairway in the front of the green or on the fringe, sometimes it'll roll all the way back down into the water. So you want to watch out for that. That's why I always try to land it right on the edge of the green because it tends to not roll too far back down. I mean, if you roll down on the fringe or on the fairway, that's fine. But if you roll into the water, that's, that's just bad. That's a no-no. You don't want to do that. So that's why I make sure I get it up there safely. And he should be good. He didn't adjust for much wind, but he'll be fine. That'll be easy putt. We'll at least get a shootout. I want to try to get some shootouts as well. I'm gonna, all I'm going to do tonight is record like three to four holes max. I'm not going to go over four holes. Um, I tried to record last night when I first started Tour 9, but the court recording just disappears. I don't know what it is with this iOS 11 recording deal. Uh, sometimes it works perfect, and there's been several times where I've just lost whatever I recorded. I'll end the recording and go into the photos where it's supposed to be sitting and it's not there. Um, I ended up Googling it last night or this morning when I couldn't find the video that I had recorded and evidently a lot of people are having that problem. So it's a common occurrence evidently. Hopefully they'll get it fixed. I mean, iOS 11 just came out so it's, it's still gonna be kind of buggy and that's understandable. Hopefully that's something they get fixed though because I don't wanna record you know, something awesome and it, it just be gone 
and have to go in and get it from replays. You know, replays just don't set up as well. This shootout hole here, I don't really like it with the headwind. Um, it, it can get a little tricky with a headwind on this one because if you land it in the wrong spot, it, it hits the edge of the roof and you don't get it all the way up there. Um, it's a bit aggravating with a headwind to say the least, but it's not too bad. Hopefully we'll be able to get it up there close. Yeah, like him, he's going to hit the edge of the roof. That's what I was talking about. That's why I hate this hole on a, on a headwind. Tailwind, love it. Love this hole, favorite hole on a tailwind, but not with a headwind. <clears throat> but what we want to do, as you can see, the ball looks like it's going to clearly clear the rough. Now we put a little, we're going to not put that much backspin on it because we don't want it to come too far back. But that's where we're going to play it right there. But when you have a headwind, the bounce don't go as far as it says it's going to go. So keep that in mind. Because when you have a headwind, your bounces are shorter. And it'll land in the rough. Hit that perfect. Should be pretty good. Yep, that's going to get over. And get in the hole. Get in the hole. Ah, close. Almost. But we ended up winning that shootout. Uh, pretty good hole. We'll take it. Uh, with the thing about Tour 9, I, like, I, th I think I said this, but I hated Tour 9 the first time I played it with my main account. Tour 9 is just a pain. Oh, we got a platinum chest. That's nice. Uh, but Tour 9, it, it's the first tour that you get when you win 25, you lose 25. If you win a game, you win 25. If you lose a game, you lose 25 trophies. So it, it can get a little tedious and aggravating because you sometimes you feel like you're just not getting anywhere uh if you win one lose one win one lose one win one lose one kind of deal it feels like you're just not accomplishing accomplishing nothing and it's extremely annoying now even once you get into tour 10 and tour 11 like for example tour 11 you win 38 you lose 42 so like me i'm max trophies if i go in and play a game and lose I lost 42 trophies. I have to win two games in a row just to get back to max. So it, it can be a bit aggravating. Now this hole here, there's two different ways to play this hole. And it looks like this guy's going to go straight, which is a really good way to play it if you have the right wind. With him having a pretty straight wind, I, 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 this is a good way to play it. If you have more, oh, he's going to, yeah, he'll be fine. Um, if you have more of a left or right wind, it's better to play it to the right, which it might, I might just do it just to show you the way to play it to the right. It depends on what kind of wind I get, but it's a lot easier to line your shot up for an albatross if you go straight. And I have a straight wind here too, so I might just do the same thing he did here. It's blowing slightly to the left. Not going to put any spin on this because you don't want it to roll too far. Want it to land about right there. Perfect shot. Should be okay. If you put top spin on that, it could roll way too far. Whoa, why is it making? Okay, no, we're good. I thought it was going to go in the rough for a minute there. I was getting a little nervous. But when you play it to the, this side, it's a lot easier to line up for an albatross. Uh, because when you go to the right over here, you, you have the bunker and everything else to deal with. So it's a little bit harder to get the albatross. So I've gotten an albatross both ways on this this hole. Um, from the right and from the left. Uh, but it's a lot easier this way. I mean, because you can line, especially with a sniper with the ball guide, you can line it up perfectly. And get it to go exactly where you want it to go. Which is what we're going to try to do, obviously. We're going to try to get the albatross here. <clears throat> hopefully we have a uh, similar wind as him uh, I, I love what they did with the tournaments the tournaments they made the wind the same direction for everybody the, the speed might be a little different but the direction is going to be the same and i really like that because the, and, and there's some holes on tour 9 and tour 11 that the wind can almost determine who's going to win the game before you even tee off because if one of you gets a headwind and one of you gets, a, well, if one of you gets a slight headwind, 
left or right, and the other one gets a tail. I mean, a a tailwind left or right, or whatever the case is, a dead headwind or, or whatever. It can really screw the other person over big time. So we're gonna let's see. We're basically at the max of this club. We're gonna put some backspin on here. Slow it down. Get it go right here. Right there, just for this eight mile an hour wind. Try to get it just right here. Gotta hurry up though. Five, six, seven, eight, and a touch. Right there. Oh, I hit it great. Should be okay though. It'll be, I mean, obviously it'll be fine, but not gonna. I hit it great to the right, and I went to the right. I think it would have still been a little too far to the right, but we'll be fine. Go to another shootout. The shootout holes are always good. I like to show shootouts because I know when I was coming through the tours, the one thing I always looked for on YouTube were the shootout holes. Now, that's another thing I was thinking about doing was just doing a series on like Tour 11 shootout holes. Just a bunch of recordings of shootouts and doing that because it, when you once you get to... Tour 7, I would say Tour 7, Tour 8, 90% of your games are going to go to the shootout. It's just, you know, everybody, at that once you get to that certain level, everybody's good enough to, you know, at least do what you're supposed to do on the hole and get to the shootout. So most of your holes are going to go to a shootout. So I, thought, I was thinking about doing a series just on shootouts to show you how to do each shootout. Now hopefully we get a different shootout here. That would be nice. We did. Okay, so at least we're getting two shootout holes, two different holes so far. Two different regular holes, two different shootout holes. So that's good. Now, he's going to play this. Okay. He's going to play it. Oh, what? All right. Now, I've never seen it played the way it looks like he's going to play it. So we'll see how this, how this works out. This is going to be new for me. He's going to go a full backspin shot. I mean, it looks like it should work. If, as long as you land it right. I can tell you he didn't adjust for enough wind in my opinion. We'll see how this goes. Okay, he's going to counter with a curl to the left. This is new for me. I've never seen anybody play this this way. Yeah, it looks like he's still going to be way too far to the right. Now I'll show you how I play it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say unlucky, but I didn't like the way he was playing that. Um, now the way I play this is to go right up here and run this up straight to the hole. Let's get it where we can see our ball guide. Do it right there. It's got a slight tailwind, so I'm going to take a little off. About right there. All right, now we're going to adjust. We're at the max for this club, pretty much. This tree is in my way tree is really in my way there we go right there hit it great to the left and it's whoa what did I do Jesus I did the same thing he did I messed up oh I only adjusted for five I was in too big of a hurry <laughs> so that's my fault. You want to adjust for the right amount of wind on that. That was not adjusting for the right amount of wind. That's what I've done. Okay, so we're up in second place in our expert league. Alright, so that wasn't a good tutorial for that hole. So let's just ignore that one and we'll go on to another one. We got a two game win streak going here. That's always good. You can get a few game win streak going on Tour 9. That's awesome. It's really good. <clears throat> I tell you, it, it's been so much easier since I started the second account coming through the tours. I mean, obviously when I first started, I was winging it. I didn't know how to adjust for wind. I was just winging everything. All right, what we got here? We got a headwind. I'm just going to stick with Titan. I got, I got plenty of balls on this account. Won four tournaments. We're just going to stick with a Titan here. Um, 
that might be too much with a five mile an hour wind. I'm gonna take one off just to be on the safe side here. About right there. There's a couple different ways to play this hole as well. Um hopefully I don't go too far. No, I'm good. I could have left that other other bar top spin on, but that's good. You can play this hole where you go to the right to that little fairway spot. When I played with the Guardian, that's what I done. With the sniper I go I go straight. Um see there's a little fairway spot over to the right. You can't see it because of my picture or oh, you can see it now. But that's one way to play this hole is to go to that right side and then you have a, a pretty good shot to the green for your third shot. It's almost impossible to make this hole into this par five and two. Um but it is not impossible to eagle it because I've eagled this one a few times from the fairway. So it's it's not impossible to eagle this hole. Uh, but it's it's almost near impossible. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually make it to the green in two. I don't even know if you can, to be honest. It's really long. Really long dog leg right. Alright, we got a decent little wind here. We can make it completely over this, but this is going to be a tricky shot. I should probably play this safer, but of course I'm not. Because, I mean, what's the fun in that? Usually, what I would do is just bounce this. This is full ball here with the wind, but I'm going to be countering the wind slightly. I'm going to curl this to the right. And that should be okay, I hope. Yeah, that's good. It might roll into the roof. Yeah. Just don't get in front. Okay, we're still on the fairway. I can't stand being behind those tombstones, man. Those tombstones are a pain in the behind. I got behind a couple of those in the uh, Haunted Hills tournament. And they are, they're no fun to be behind, that's for sure. I don't, I don't like being behind those things because you can't see your ball and you have to sit there and wait for it to show you where the ball's at with the little finger that pops up on the screen to pull the ball down. It's really annoying. It happened to me twice in the Haunted Hills tournament. In the Creepy Cliffs tournament, I made sure to avoid them. He's doing the same thing I did. It's going to be more in the center of the fairway. He's got, oh, nope, he's going to make it in the rough. He's got a level 10 sniper, though. He had like a level 5 Thorn, Thor's Hammer, too, didn't he? Level 4, level 5 Thor's Hammer. All right, now the way I like to play this hole here, put backspin on it and put like three right spin on it and get it about right there. Yeah, about, we're going to bring it up just a little bit more. About right there. Because it's going to roll slightly to the right for us. About right there. Going to adjust for about five mile an hour to win here. Boom. See what we can do here. Perfect shot. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, slightly off. Almost, almost, almost got the eagle. But that's the way I like to play that hole because, I mean, it already has the slope from the left to the right coming down. So I, I basically just kind of used the slope. I played it a bit too much that time. Should have probably left it where I had it to begin with and it would have been a lot better. This guy's got a level eight freaking... What the heck? How many games he's got? 7,000 games. Holy moly. 53% win percentage. There's mine. Not bad. 71%. My main account's 57% maxed out. Hit that great to the left. Still might be really close. Might even go in. Oh, he got lucky. He got lucky with his great shot. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end on that note.
it's always the great shots that go in. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still around, make sure you leave a comment down there to say what you would like to see next. And I'm going to get out of here, and I will see you guys next time.